Boys, it's your man Matt the Red Man. We back at it again with another video. Today is a highly anticipated video for some of you guys. Lighting's kind of off in here. Can't have the garage door open because then you can't even see the bike. It's kind of all over the place right now. Try to get the lighting better in the garage just so I can make better videos. I know a lot of people have been wanting more pit bike videos, so I have brand new parts for the SSR 140TR. Man, you guys got to check this out. I actually took off the stock exhaust because I bought an FMF exhaust and it did not fit at all, so that sucked. I have a new oil cooler with red anodized to match the rest of the bike in the front like a little frame in the front a red anodized bars only like 20 or 30 bucks but i went ahead and bought the cheap ones so that when i break these then i'll get some nice like pro taper or renthal bars that'll be in the future though i kind of wanted the red just so that it would match the rims and stuff like that and the rear shock so i just said screw it i'll rock out with the cheap ones for now and then i finally went ahead and got me a kickstand because i'm really tired of having to lean this thing over kind of messing up my plastics and stuff like that they're not that bad they're just pretty scratched up but also a new rear shock pretty excited on that listen to this thing dude rear shock is just completely toast i think i rip on these things way too hard so that is probably the reason why i've gone through two shocks now i have another third shock i need to get me a really nice high quality shock this is like a 50 dollars shock off of ebay actually this is my second 50 dollars shock the exact same shock i've already bought this one twice now hopefully i don't blow through this one too quick because the one that i actually want off the of t-bolt usa is literally three times the price so 150 which again is not that bad i just don't really feel like spending the money for a rear shock kind of being a little cheap but whatever i'm still in the process of getting my kx 125 uh ready to go i think i'm going to start with the oil cooler first just because that's probably going to be the most tedious out of anything else everything else is pretty much like quick bolt-on stuff and the oil cooler i've never installed this before in fact the whole reason why i bought this thing is because i actually see a mounting bracket here and i always wondered what that was for so i looked up a stock SSR 140TR, the 140s, the 160, anything above a 140 motor, it all has an oil cooler on there. I actually noticed before that it would run a little high after ripping on it for a while. So I realized, man, I need an oil cooler. It already has the mounting bracket and yeah, so it should be a quick, easy process. Hopefully it fits. You guys gotta check these things out, man. So I recently just got these stickers made. I plan on getting other colors made, but for right now I have a couple of these different sizes as well. So I have white and 15 and 20 inch and then in the black I have same thing I think 15 and 20 inch I think they're both two and a half inches tall or something like that and then I have some smaller ones either way man if you guys want one of these stickers comment down below I will start sending these things out free of charge in the future I plan on selling these but for right now I'm kind of still in the process of seeing how I want these things designed this is just a test run I plan on having thousands of these stickers made so just stay tuned for that I don't have that many right now too many people start commenting I'm sorry but yeah I have limited availability right now i will start making more stickers and it won't just be the channel name i plan on making really cool designs so stay tuned with that man that's something i'm super super excited about i hope you guys are excited for this video if you guys are give this video a like man it shows me that you guys want to see more pit bike videos let's get started man i think i'm gonna go ahead and remove these front shrouds or the front plastics i think it'll be a tad bit easier just to kind of get in this area and let's go ahead and remove these honestly i'm looking at the bike man she's a tad bit dirty on the motor especially for me to start trying to do something like installing this oil cooler i definitely don't want to get any dirt in the motor so i'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this thing off really quick so i need to go ahead and throw the exhaust back on i'm gonna pressure wash her and then we'll start working on her Alrighty, boys got her all cleaned up pressure washed off also had to take the air filter off just because it got super wet and i'm trying to dry it so that i could possibly ride it today it's supposed to be raining for the next couple of days so that kind of blows but so looking at the hardware that came with the oil cooler definitely does not go with this whole kit some of the, the banjo bolts are fine, but the other hardware, which I'm actually missing a couple bolts. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. These bolts are way entirely too long. I have like a whole extra inch and a half. So I got a bolt kit at my truck, which is at DKC. So um, I'm not gonna install this right now. We're gonna go ahead and start installing the other parts. Then I'll go get the bolt kit really quick, come back and then we'll install the oil cooler. It's stupid hot in here, man. And hopefully it's not raining by then and we can get a little quick test ride. It really sucks when you move because especially like into a buddy's house or whatever, a lot of my tools are stuck in my trailer right now just for the simple fact that we don't have that much garage space in here. I don't even have the spring cooler for the kickstand so I can't put the kickstand fully on yet, but that's super simple. My bolt kit is in my 
trailer, my spring puller for like an exhaust, like two stroke uh, spring. With that being said, can't really finish putting on the kickstand, can't finish putting on the oil cooler, but what we can do is go ahead and install these bars and put on the shock. So let's go ahead and knock these two things out. The shock will be on, the new bars will be on. Yeah, man, hopefully I have a grip for the left side because you know the right side is for the throttle, so that's fine. I don't have to swap that out. Maybe I can reuse the left grip. I don't know, I don't know if I'll even be able to get it off. Anyways, man, let's, let's check it out. Spring puller, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish installing the kickstand. Super simple here, so all I gotta do is grab the back end of this. Ooh wee, okay, that's a little harder than I thought, hold on. Okay, let's get it done. When I go up, it makes like this really annoying noise, so uh, basically, right there on the very bottom the spring is just rubbing up against the kickstand either way dude i don't really care it was a 15 dollars kickstand so we're just gonna leave it at that we're gonna go ahead and continue working on the bike i'm not really too concerned about that noise right now i'll figure that out later you don't need to remove the side plate but i'm just gonna do it just for this video it's super easy Post, look at that. Oh, wait. Wait a second. This shock actually might not be trash. Yeah, so this just, wait. Yeah, no, it's, it's trash. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so that just completely snapped. If that's not dangerous, I don't know what that is. Got another red shock. It looks really, really dope. I want to go ahead and clean up these bolts because they just look just nasty and rusty. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the buffer wheel real quick and uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing shined up. All right, so I got the bench grinder on. This is what they look like before. Let's get it. realized that my front brake is like loose the bottom bolt was way too loose which is horrible we were just talking about the wheel it's just super wonky so I might end up having to get that thing trued out I have to go ahead and put on the controls on the handlebars and then after that I think all I got is the oil cooler and I think a set of graphics for this thing I'll set it off dude and a different gas cap because that gold gas cap is definitely throwing it off we need a red one keep it murder time yeah Oh, just straight black? Like no, no graphics? I gotta get the graphics, dude. So I was having a little bit of trouble with the throttle cable was getting stuck up in there. Now I got immediate rebound back to original position. <laughs> so there was a plastic piece in there. I ended up putting some white lithium grease. That's basically the only grease I have laying around right now that I found useful. So I just went ahead and throw that in there. I should not have any problems with the throttle cable, so we're good to go on that. Got the throttle, the front brake, and the clutch set up. Now all I gotta do is throw on the left grip and we should be good to go. So first I'm gonna remove the front shroud just so you guys can see what's going on here a little bit better. So this is the current setup, got the bracket screwed in. We're gonna go ahead and place it on the bike and see what happens. So as funny as this is gonna sound, this is pretty big in the front here. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't, I, I mean, it looks solid though. I mean, oh, wait, nope. I think we're toast. Gosh darn. Okay, maybe if I flip this. Alrighty boys, and I solved the problem. So it's definitely not hitting the triple clamps. All I gotta do is figure out something with this clutch cable. So I think I have everything set up properly. The oil cooler lines are set up pretty nice. I got them nice and tucked for the most part. I might end up doing something else. I don't know exactly. I don't really know what else I could do other than try to like zip tie them or something. Can't start the bike up. It's way too late. It's like one in the morning. So I definitely don't want to piss the neighbors off. The oil cooler lines are set up nice. Like I was saying, they're tucked. Definitely not hanging out to where it'll like get caught on anything easily anyways. It does kind of stick out just a little bit right there on the side, but I think we should be good. Again, this thing is huge 
huge, way bigger than like a brand new SSR 140TR oil cooler. I saw it's like just a piece of metal, basically. And um, this is way bigger. It has the fins and stuff like that. So it's like an actual cooler, like almost like a radiator. Definitely should keep the bike super cool now. Got my fingers crossed that this is gonna work good. I don't think anything bad will happen, but I won't know until I actually start the bike up. Yeah, so it'll probably just take a tad bit more than one full bottle every oil change. Got everything set up, got the bars. Uh, got the bar pad on there, got the kill switch set up, put the side number plate back on. I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to finish this video just so I could actually start the bike up. The exhaust, man, I gotta get a new silencer. Um, I got that on the way. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I got an FMF exhaust that did not fit. And I'll change the whole pipe out once I get my full refund. That FMF exhaust was definitely gonna be sick. So let's go ahead and take the bike off the stand. Let's see what it looks like with that kickstand. Let's make sure that's working. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep after that. So let's see. See what's up with this kickstand. Make sure that rear shock is working good. That's pretty low, bud. This definitely needs to be adjusted like big time. Kickstand works good, sweet, super low. Almost like a low rider right now. This is hilarious. This is freaking funny. So I think I totally got the wrong shock. I'm going to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow, dude. I was basically just messing with the adjustment. The shock felt kind of loose, so I tightened it up. I screwed this down, and uh, yeah, so it tightened up a tad bit, and it's a bit more stiff, which is what I wanted. I just feel like there's not enough clearance. I don't know. Everyone else is telling me I'm tripping right now. All my, all my buddies are telling me I'm tripping, but I don't know. Maybe it'll ride better. We'll see. I have to take it out here in a second for a spin. I'm about to start it up though. So basically all I did was kind of just mess with the shock today. Put oil on the air filter so we can go ahead and start her up. Got the oil full on the full line. So we're going to see how much of this oil cooler actually takes. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start her. I'm not even looking for like oil leaks. I even smoking just a tad bit, but I think that's just because I was getting a little bit of oil on there or whatever. But uh, that's just the pipe smoking. There's no oil leaking. And I don't see anything leaking, so I think we're solid on that, which is dope. Let's go ahead and cut her off here in a second. check the oil honestly it didn't really take that much which is awesome i'm actually able to ride this thing right now i think your boy's about to get the helmet cam and go ahead and hop on this thing 